Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Raja Bell. Um, this is a card that's been out since day one of 2K. He is in the full full throttle set, and he is exceptional. Haven't done gameplay with him yet, and I'm excited to now because Elite Three and D. And when I say Elite, I mean the best three and D in the game right now. When you are talking about a purely Elite three point shooter and on ball defender he gives you an incredible combination of both maybe not quite the defender that ml car is but he's not far off and his shooting ability is top tier this is a as good a card as pretty close to any besides pink diamond brown pink diamond t-mac in the entirety of the game right now and he's even a decent athlete so excited to use this rajah bell card before we hop into it if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Also, a massive shout out to my boy Carrillo for letting me use this account to record this gameplay. The community manager is back. Uh, if y'all know, you know. But shout out to Carrillo. Really appreciate him for letting me use this account. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Raja Bell is six foot five at shooting guard. Not unbelievable size, but day one, that's not that big of a deal. 89 on offense, 99 defense, 84 driving layup, 86 mid range, 93 ball, 85 driving dunk. Like I said, he's got real athletic ability as well. 86 ball handle, 92 steel, 94 perimeter, 89 speed, 86 speed with ball, 95 agility. 85 stamina or 85 hustle 95 92 stamina 90 strength overall really good versatile card five hoffs eight gold badges you got half slippery off ball challenger off ball pest set shot specialist the best like basically catch and shoot and then on ball menace which is basically clamps his hoffs are nasty not to mention gold limitless gold post lockdown Gold pick dodger, glove interceptor, immovable enforcer, and mini marksman. Shooting and defense is what he does at an absolutely elite level. And then he's got you know, give, gives you enough athletic ability to do some other things well as well. That's a really, really good card. And there's a reason he's basically 100,000 MT. Let's just put it that way. He is a card who does everything well at a very, very high level. And I'm really excited to use him in this game, to be completely honest. So let's see what his um, movement is like to a certain extent. But at the end of the day... That's not what we're here for. I mean, the movement doesn't really matter that much. He's got a great drag back. Really nice. Uh, I'm not I'm not complaining about the drag back at all. It actually is behind the back, too. You combine that drag back with the behind the back, and you can get a nice little animation combo right there for sure. Um, not to mention, I mean, bursting out of stuff, it's just, it's just not super consistent right now by any means. There aren't really any, I wouldn't say, particularly great dribble style bursts, but actually Raja Bell seems better than most, although it is really slow out of that... Um, out of that, like out of an escape or something like that. But with that being said, I mean, you got a card here who's got okay ish movement and admittedly nothing special, but a truly top tier elite smooth jumper and then phenomenal, phenomenal on ball defensive ability. Is he a primary shot creator? Probably not. Is he a very, very capable secondary guy? Stand on the hash and knock down shots from deep and then be your on-ball defender if you need him to be on the defensive end of the court? 100%. This is one of the best shooting guards in the game. And this card, whether he's next to T-Mac at the two and T-Mac's at the three, or whether you have him off your bench at the two, or whatever the case may be, uh, or whatever you want to do with this Rajah Bell, it all depends on how good your team is. But if you're able to get your hands on this card, he is a dog regardless. So phenomenal, phenomenal card. Really excited to use him. Top into a game. See you, Rajah Bell can do all right so hopping into this game we are down two to nothing this dude has got a good team he's got um amethyst d rose amethyst vince amethyst Embiid, like a really really solid lineup no doubt wide open three first possession you cannot leave rajah bell he will do that more often than not you're gonna see the color green and you see it first possession they're knocking down the shot already that's just bad Honestly, I think I'm going to sub Gasol in, though, because he's already attacked Sam Perkins twice with Embiid, and it's just not really a matchup that I like very much, so I think we're just going to do it like that for right now. I probably should have gone downhill with Raja, or with uh, Rajon, Rajon Rondo, not Raja Bell. We got Raja and Rajon right now on the court, um, and unfortunately, we're kind of in a... He's just hard off-balling in the corner, and we're having a tough time starting off this game. He's just switch-all, isn't he? This is off-ball switch-all. This dude plays like a bot. Um, <laughs> 2K24 gameplay is back in 2K25 when it comes to D. If it's just sitting in the corner and letting your CPU switch for you. What a skillful set of gameplay this this 2K is. Um, well, every 2K is really, it seems like. Good defense, and he gets dunked on. Got two bodies down there. I'm just getting standing dunked on. Unfortunately, with a guy like Raja Bell, who's not really a shot creator, the thing about salary cap is you only got 10,000 salary, right? So a Raja Bell, who's 2,500 salary, kind of not the best value. I might almost be better off doing this lineup and showdown or this gameplay and showdown, but we'll have to probably pass the ball a lot this game, to be honest, if he's just going to off ball switch all everything, which seems to be his strategy. By the way, this is the lamest style of defense in the game. Just sitting in the corner and letting your CPU do everything for you. 
is the lamest style of defense in this game, and unfortunately, it's still pretty effective, but it's really annoying to play against, and it is very, very low skill, so uh, unfortunately, not a ton we can really do about it. I should actually probably put Raja on D-Rose here. Um, switch this, good defense, play the... Oh, come on, he's just going to get a switch and go up on two people. I knew it. We thankfully get enough of a contest, and we get ourselves a stop. Run the floor, R Lamar Odom. Swing into the quarter to Raja. If we could get uh, Vents into the screen just slightly so I can get a little more space, that'd be really nice. Unfortunately, doesn't look like that's going to happen. Um, see if we can reject the screen here. Hit Raja on the pop catch. Again, I just don't have much going right now, unfortunately. Uh, stop, pop, and unfortunately get a load up and not able to hit that shot either. This is going to be a tough game. Off ball switch all is tough to play against, especially in a lineup like this where I don't really have a true primary ball handler. Um, this is not going to be an easy game by any means, and the X switch is the latest it's ever been. So he gets a wide open three. Luckily, he bricks it. Run the floor. Uh, Raja, I need you to actually run. I don't know why he's stopping. Uh, I guess I just have to pass the ball all game. I don't, I don't know how else I'm supposed to consistently score besides that right now, unfortunately. I don't know why Jason Tatum is cutting, but wide open three. Step deep. Good lord, bro. I just don't understand this gameplay. Like, why is he popping so deep? Um, catching the corner with Raja. Uh, shot, I think. That's why. Oh, is that open? Oh, my goodness. Look at Raja. Knocked down the three ball. I'm telling y'all. His release is money. This might be a tough game. But Raja is showing out with that jump shot already. Nice shot there. Knocking down that three. Um, I don't. I didn't jump. I didn't jump. What? <laughs> I have no words for what that was. That doesn't even make any sense. I, I truly don't even get that. Let's quick slip the screen. See if we can get him to slip to the rim. Um, I just threw it to the wrong guy. Goodness gracious, bro. I had a wide open standing dunk and I threw it to the wrong guy. Uh, should have another one though. Catch, Raja, finish. Beautiful. Eight points, one assist so far. Not going too bad. All right, 16 seconds left in the half. Can we finish off the half with a bucket? Raja Bell, catch here. Uh, drive the ball. Help off with Embiid. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, I don't know Sam Perkins' release at all. Well, if I knew Sam Perkins' release, we would have had a chance at that, but I've literally never shot with him. So that was my first shot with him in the game period. And luckily, he doesn't go up with that because that would have been a free bucket. And it's a tie game at halftime. Scoring is at a premium right now, and especially in a game like this where I truly don't have a primary ball handler. But Rajah Bell with a good first half performance with eight points, one assist, um, contributing to all 10 of our points. And. I mean, fingers crossed we can get some stuff going in the second half as well at the end of the day. I don't really know what else to say than that. Catch here again. Standing dunk. 85 dunk. And he finishes inside again. Off. By the way, off slippery off ball. Not sure if that badge contributes to the ease of which he's able to get open on that back door right there. Or not back door, but that cut. But if it is, that's fire. I don't know if it is or not, to be honest. But either way, uh, he gets open again really well. And there's a wide open three that I missed. That's so tough. A guy this good of a shooter just can't afford to be missing with him. And that is really unfortunate. And then he just back door cut, gets a dunk or a finish on the interior. I'm telling y'all, man, this gameplay can be really rough at times. Dump down to Raja again. Catch and dunk again. I kind of have to play this way as much as I don't want to. Uh, it's kind of lame and kind of repetitive, but it's the only way I'm able to really consistently get much going right now. Uh, Marc Gasol, at least on the, in the interior, should be more of a fighter against Embiid than Sam Perkins, and he is. Beautiful stuff. Run the floor. Uh, swing it to Lamar Odom. Or Lamar Odom drive the ball, and I'll take my dunk. Let's go. Might have to sub the bench in here for a little bit, but Raja Bell having a good performance so far with 12 of our 16 points. Look at Raja playing the corner. We bait him perfectly. Throw it up the court. Lamar Odom with the dunk. And we have a six-point lead now. This dude's bought off ball switch all play style. Try to mash me every single play. Is starting to come back to bite him. Good defense by Marc Gasol. Don't jump until we need to. Beautiful defense. And we get a stop again. Run the floor. Swing it up to Lamar. Lamar drive the ball. Back up top to Raja. Raja pick and roll. Switch it here. Come switch. Come switch. Come switch. Let me let me attack you in the post. That's fine. You want to switch? Now I'm going to attack you. Now we're going to attack you. Okay, come on, bro. You're not going to let me do it. For real? Okay, I'm quick slipping the screen. I'm throwing it into Mark anyway. We're getting our assist here. We're taking advantage of the switch all. If that's how you're going to play, I'm going to take advantage of it. Rajah Bell with 12 points and three assists. He is out here hooping. I might not sub in. I'm not subbing out Rajah this game. I'm not going to lie. I think I need his defense too much to really, to really be able to sub him out. And he steps out of bounds there, and Rajah with the block anyway. This card's tough, bro. He's a dog. That's all I needed to see. I'm so glad we beat that guy, too. I cannot stand people who sit in the corner and play off ball switch all. That is my least favorite style of defense to play against. Uh, I'm sure y'all heard me complain about it many times. But Raja Bell, awesome card. Had 12 points, 3 assists, and showed off the defensive ability as well in that game. Elite level catch and shoot shooter. Doesn't do much off the dribble, I know, but he does have a good drag back. Um, 
dunking wise, I mean, it's definitely there. And then defensively, he's awesome. He's not your primary ball handler, probably ideally not your secondary ball handler either. But as a three and D card, he is literally as good as anybody. He might be the best pure three and D card in the game right now. So love this card. Really enjoyed this gameplay. Hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.